Hey there guys, today I've got a quick tip for you on using Sculpture as uh, a vocoder. Um, Sculpture is one of the synths that's bundled with Logic. It's a physical modeling synth and I think it's criminally underrated. I just think it's an amazing synth. You can create all sorts of sounds with it. You can make things that sound realistic, you can make things that sound really synthetic and everything in between. Um, although it is quite difficult to use and it takes quite a while to master it. Um, I'm not going to be going into depth into how to use Sculpture in this video, I don't have time for that. But there are other tutorials out there on the web and the, you can use the manual. I'm also producing some Sculpture tutorials of my own so I'll let you know when those are finished. Uh, but for now I just thought I'd show you this quick tip. Um, many of you will know that Logic already has its own vocoder synth called the Evoc 20 and it's really cool you can put vocals through it, um, drums, all sorts of different material and you can get um, cool sounds out of that. But you can actually use Sculpture in a really similar way and I'll show you how to set that up. First up I've got this drum loop which um, is on a track and the output has been turned to no output. So basically on its own this makes no sound whatsoever because it's not going to any output. What we're going to do is we're going to sidechain that audio into Sculpture. So in the sidechain uh, drop down here at the top right I've chosen Audio 1 which is that analog drum machine. Uh, the loop by the way is an Apple loop um, analog drum machine 29 and I like these Apple loops, these analog drum machine ones, they've got a nice retro feel. Um, so we've sidechained in the loop. Next up we've got to turn on Object 2 in Sculpture. Um, the different objects in Sculpture have different um, types of excitation for your material. Here's where you choose what your material is. And obviously you can strike them, you can pick them, bow them, that sort of thing. But in Object 2, one of the options we've got for object types is external and what that does is it uses the side chained audio to excite whatever material is it is that you've chosen here so in this case I've chosen a sort of steely type material um, and I've used the key scaling options to change that material a little bit as you move up and down the keyboard again I don't have time to go into detail of how all this works but um, if you experiment a bit and if hopefully if you look at my tutorials which I'll be releasing in a few weeks you should be able to get this stuff. So um, basically I'll play you how it sounds and what you'll hear is you'll hear the characteristics of this drum machine coming through in a tuned way as I play the keyboard. So um, here we go. <laughs> So, um, I think you'll agree that's a pretty cool sound, and of course, the sound can be completely changed by changing the material you use and the setting, you know, the, the general uh, sculpture settings. You can also modulate aspects of the sculpture uh, patch with LFOs and all sorts. Um, you, can, you could even add in extra um, objects to give some more texture to the sound. Uh, I have no idea what this will sound like, but let's give it a try. Oh, it seems like that bouncing uh, object is taking over the external object. Okay, well that was a relatively unsuccessful experiment, but you get the idea, you can change all sorts of things and um, get all sorts of really cool sounds. Uh, when you're using this external object, it's useful to know that um, the timbre slider, uh, which is here on the left, changes the, basically filters the incoming audio. So um, if I change it a bit. You can hear 
more or less of the uh, high frequencies coming through. So that's a useful thing to know. Um, I hope this has been useful. It's just a little tip, and I think it could be really cool for making little intros or breakdowns. Um, just adding some interest to uh, your rhythm, you know, your rhythms and your uh, your drum sounds. So um, I hope that's been useful, guys, and um, I'll see you soon again. Bye.